Welcome back everyone, Criminal Archer here, time for some more Project Zomboid. No sleep challenge, it's 2200. We are of course ridiculously tired, we're hungry, we're having a very, fairly heavy load because I'm trying to figure out how to make a hot cuppa. We have currently figured out how to make a cold cuppa, which is to have a kettle, a kettle, a tea bag, an empty mug, and some sugar. Um, but I think if I turn this, the heater on, I think if I turn the oven on, it will give me the option to make a hot cuppa? Maybe? I don't think they're, I think they're two different things. <laughs> I'm not sure though. So I'm just going to wait here for a second till this thing is definitely heated. Maybe I have to make a cold cup and then warm it up. Let me, if I, if I put this in the oven, there it is, hot cuppa, there we go. All right, let's give this a try. Make hot cuppa. Fatigue, fatigue is still just magnet five. So the difference in the power of what it does for the fatigue is basically non-existent, which is too bad because I was really hoping that that would be a a winner when it came to uh, our fatigue management, but no such luck. So, you know, we're going to do our usual thing of hanging out here, reading books until morning. All right, we slept all night or didn't sleep all night. I should say we read all night. Got our Fishing for Beginners book now finished. We're very hungry, anxious, and tired, and all that good stuff. No, well, let's do let's do both bacon's. We'll eat a bunch of bacon. A bunch of bacon from for breakfast. I have made a bunch of bacon bits. <laughs> I don't have a good reason for why I made a bunch of bacon bits, but it is a thing that I have done. I'll just put those back in the refrigerator. <laughs> all right. So in my inventory, I have what? Two things of vitamins. So if we need, and we have our uh, our now cold hot cuppa, which still is only five fatigue. But that's, you know, five fatigue is better than no fatigue, right? That's what my mama always used to tell me. So let's, uh... Let's get out there and see what we can see. Assuming it's not full of zombies, I'm gonna try and swing by the uh, gas station here. And fill up the car. I have a gas can in the trunk, but... I'd like to save that, those gas cans if we can. Whoop, that's right, I forgot about that car. <laughs> that is some of my gas storage right there, is that entire, that car's tank of gas. All right, good, that works. I was a little worried we'd get interrupted, but. So what was the, uh, I think we checked this before and it was, the answer was bad, but what does the like fancy neighborhood look like? Yes, the answer is bad. Fancy neighborhood looks bad. <laughs> We won't be going over there. That is a tree. Is there any police cars in the police parking lot? No, there is a... Nope, there are no police cars in the police parking lot. That's too bad. Have they ever had any cars to the movie theater? The drive-in movie theater here that always felt kind of unfinished to me. All right, looks like they've done some, added some stuff. There's the ticketing area that wasn't there before. Come on. I wonder if any of these cars are in good shape. Uh, and there's the actual projection booth. Can we get out the back? Can not get out this side? This would be an interesting place to build a... Um, build a base, really. If you could. Big old screen. As you have all these these walls that can't be damaged, you just really need to, to defend this one little area here. My car is starting to sound real bad. <laughs> Alright, can I get in down here? Probably not, huh? Just trying to find places we can loot without too much trouble. But I don't think this is going to be one of them. There's a few too many zombies still around. I kind of hate how cautious I have to be in this game. <laughs> because of the, uh, you know... The complete lack of sleep, which means that I can kill, like, two zombies at a time, and that's about it. I wonder if I can cut across here. Let's see about cutting off across the field to their, their neighbor's house. 
Answer is yes, but their neighbor's house is actually worse with zombies than where they were. So I guess we're not going in here. Is this... Am I where I think I am? Let's find out if I'm where I think I am. Are, like farm stand things right over here? Yeah, this is, this is what I was thinking of. This is here. Let's cut across this way. Great. And the fence goes all the way around. Well, that's not gonna help. Actually, over here is fine too. He doesn't come over here. Miss out on this house, but that's okay. Sacrifices have to be made to try and get where I wanna go. Alright, let's try to get into this house. I want to get into an actual house, please. I only drive around for so long before it starts to drive me crazy. Oh, it's a electronics house. More kettles. I need more mugs, I don't need more kettles. It's a zombie in here somewhere. Must be upstairs. I have to remember now that I need to check for, uh, for tapes. And some of these things. It, that is now a thing that we have to worry about. Wait, oh, sewing kit. Another sewing kit. Alright, upstairs zombie. I heard you making noise. Hold down. So little damage. Like this. <laughs> Wire and a club hammer. Matches. Bathroom. These old TVs don't have VCRs, right? Yeah, okay. It's just the newer ones. Sit here and rest for a bit. See if we can clear off a little bit of this uh, exertion. We don't have a lot of it, but it's enough that I would prefer for it to go away. We have enough uh, debuffs as it is. The outbuilding over here. These things are usually pretty worthless, but we'll go check it out anyways. Since we're here. Yep, I was right. <laughs> worthless. It's okay though. Should be some. There's some warehouses. Oh, there they are. I was gonna say there's some warehouses out here that are probably worthwhile to check. <laughs> already already exerted again. Use up a lot of energy being tired. Any trash candy for me? Garbage bag. No, no trash candy. I don't have time to fight you, zombie. I'm being a pain. That's quite the splatter there. It's getting all the way over to that wall from here. Uh, another wood axe. We probably don't need it, but... It's hard to pass up a wood axe. Do we have a shotgun already? That one's actually in pretty bad shape, so never mind. I was gonna take it. I will just unload it instead. Unload. Oh, sledgehammer. Hmm. I'll leave that. Well, I should actually I should just take it. Should just take it. Let's be responsible. I, I end up leaving things behind just because I'm lazy and don't feel like carrying them, which is not the right attitude to have. All right, now, first warehouse is done. Drop off some of this stuff because we're a little weighed down right now. More food. 
forgot to bring any food with me. I technically have the cuppa, which will give me six hunger, but that's not a lot. I know that back that way there's a place with food, but I'm not... Or, in theory, should have food, but I think it may also have a lot of zombies in it. So let's just go check real quick. Yeah. Yeah, so there's like a, like a camp here. And the, this this one right here is the, is the food area, but I can't really do that right now with these guys hanging around. God knows I can't fight that many zombies. Or what's the end of the other end of the street? A little house. Tiny little house, do you have any food in you? This is not an actual house. <laughs> so the answer would be no. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and drink the cuppa. Just to, mostly just to, to deal with this hunger a little bit. What's the other direction? I know there's more warehouses to deal with potentially, but what is further down this road? Nothing, literally nothing, okay. <laughs> it's the road at the end of the world. Oh, well this one's empty, so that makes, makes looting in here easy. Also empty. All right. Well, this is simplifying things quite a bit. Mm, all right. I'm gonna skip this one. We we pulled some zombies from up the up the block down this way, so now I'm not that interested in doing this warehouse. I would really love to run through here. I wonder if I can clear this area out because this this is a, I guess food store, so it might actually have things I need. So let's um let's see about moving people over this way. All right. You know what? get the distance here. Equip primary. Equip secondary. Let's get, uh, let's get fiery. It's a big open field. Seems like this potentially would work. Let's see. Opening the window gives me the ability to sort of slide the v the viewpoint around in a way that you can't otherwise. It's a little tip for you. Easier here than I expected. <laughs> it's like somebody's been honking a horn around here or something. I do still have headlights. Wasn't sure if I'd still have headlights or not at this point. bad news if this car breaks. I haven't really been running into anything, so I think we'll be okay. But you never really know, do you? It's weird when they start just standing around for no apparent reason. It's like, 
There's a huge horde of flaming zombies wandering nearby, plus a car idling in the in this field. You think one of those things might be kind of interesting to you? Just a thought. Alright, we're getting there. I'm hearing zombies fall down significantly, repeatedly. So, we're making progress. Anytime I get close, it's just like somebody dropping uh, sacks of meat off the roof. So, I can't really see very well. <laughs> One problem right now. that noise. Just gonna cruise over here where I, the place I would like to go in the future. Make sure there's no random zombies hanging around. Alright, we seem to be clear over here. disengage from this group. If I stand here, just barely in range, I can at least burn some time by making them walk all the way over here. Fast motion. This is a way, interesting way to spend an evening. What did you do last night? Oh, I drove around in circles in a field while about a 250 people burned to death. Well, that sounds like an interesting evening. That's yeah, okay. Most of them were already dead. Just these three? Just these two? If I could just leave them. Let's sort of swing around. I assume that we disengage with them if we do this. Maybe, maybe not. Willing to take it. There is a fence there. Oh, so much for our headlights. Oh, there's a zombie in here. Please die. Thank you. I hear somebody else. Oh, he's at the window. Is there a light switch in here anywhere? No light switch? Alright, looks like we lost all this food already. So it turns out this this uh, whole uh, event is, was not as worthwhile as I thought. Maybe we'll get lucky and something will be in these cabinets. Who's making all that noise?
All right, well, this was a complete waste of our effort. Oh, he's at the door. A bag of concrete. That's exactly what we need. We're already getting like fairly highly exerted from just a little bit of stuff we've been doing here. So there's this building here, which I'm pretty sure is just bathrooms. And there's a little shack over there, so. Unfortunately, this turned out to not be nearly as useful as I thought it was going to be. I thought I remember there being some, like, non-perishable shelves in there. But it's, I guess, it's just a farmer's market. <laughs> Well, let's go over to those houses that I cleared of zombies, in theory at least. Ooh, a lot of stuff on the shelves over here. VHS tape. Oh, you know we're gonna need to take one of these, uh, one of these nicer televisions home with us. Because we don't have one. Our, our our current um refri refrigerator our current tv doesn't have a oh who's here our current tv doesn't have a vhs two coffee oh, mind if i do and some sugar and a white mug Mug options. I don't know where the zombie is. I can only assume upstairs. Well, two two coffee is a pretty good haul for us these days. Which is kind of sad. Um, give me that soap, actually. In here? No. Long John. This is a bunch of uh stuff for uh. What do you call it? Um. Speaker. That's new. I don't feel like I remember seeing that before. A chrome toaster. Still on the look for a suitcase. I have to remember that. We need a suitcase. For all of our money. Alright, can I take this? I think that, by the way, I think the VHS tape that we found is actually just like home movies, but, um, which won't be, won't be useful to us, but we're going to take it home in with us anyways, just in case. Mm, I see some zombies. Really don't want to fight any zombies in the dark right now with the state we're in. Well, we might not have a cho choice. Those might be required zombies if we want to stay here. At least one of them is. We already have military boots, right? Oh, we have regular boots. Like those. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Okay. Interesting move there, Mr. Zombie. Not 
not gonna take the pork chop because it pork chop because it is not um water and pestle made me that it's not safe anymore i mean it's 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 safe it's just not fresh anymore that's the fresh was the word i was looking for Read that. Haven't read that. Haven't read that. All right. Sun's starting to come up. If I can get all three of these houses, that'll be extremely good, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, yeah, let's, um, never mind. There's at least two, if not more, zombies in there. I can't fight two, more than one zombie at a time at the moment. Oh, we lost our windshield. Alright. Which is not that surprising. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna send us, I'm gonna drive us home, but I think I'm gonna stop here for today. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time. I am, as always, Chromium Lurcher, and I'll see you guys next time.